Hey guys, good morning. It's Ricardo, DFW Junk Guys Junk Removal Service. I'm um, at it again this morning, guys. Um, so I've been thinking, you know, I, I need to do a video because uh, I know that a lot of people are slow. Uh, October is a slow month. Uh, I mean, September, and then October is a slow month too. It, and it gets starting to get slow um, during, you know, when, when it's try, trying to change the season. You know what I mean? So. I wanted to kind of think of ideas that if you're starting the junk removal business or just started, okay? So we're talking like pre-starting or just started a junk removal service, what to do and what to do to stay busy immediately, okay? But this is also for the people who are looking for something that, uh, hey, it's slow right now, what should I do? And one other thing I, I, um, I want to tell people is that you want to be sure that you, you deliver a great service for a good price you know what I mean be sure that you're not overcharging people I know a lot of people who have like um, uh, 10 foot long trailers and four foot walls and they're trying to get four hundred five hundred dollars off of it you know what I mean here in Texas I know that okay uh, it's just not gonna make sense that doesn't make sense three hundred dollars makes sense so what I'm trying to do is don't overcharge people don't think you're one eight hundred junk don't think you're junk king because you're not okay don't go pick up a washer for 150 bucks or 120 or 100 dollars even you know what i mean a good reasonable price is 75 dollars and under a fridge 75 dollars and under you know if it's too far maybe it's just not worth it to you to get it have you thought of that guys if it's just too far don't don't fucking go 50 miles for a 45 dollar refrigerator okay it's just common sense okay and that's how we work uh, if it's too far out of my way and it's 45 dollars i just won't go pick it up you know what i mean i just won't go but always deliver a great service for a good price. That's really important to do, okay? So, what are we gonna do when it's slow, okay? One thing you wanna do is always upgrade your company's website. Listen, if you're thinking it's slow because at Craigslist, they're not calling you, well maybe fucking fix your website or maybe get a website, okay? A lot of people don't realize is that Google analyzes how often you fix your website. How often are you changing pictures? How much, how often are you changing wording on your website? You don't think they do? Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Google has billion dollars that they set aside for analytics to observe your website and check what's wrong with it, like on a monthly basis, okay? So let me tell you something. They do check on stuff like that, especially if you're changing pictures, you're changing wording, you're changing stuff like that. It's really, really important that you do that, you know what I mean? Because it just, it is good for your website, okay? Now, also, if you cannot Google your own website online, then fuck, how is a customer gonna find you, okay? Be sure and make it easy for people to find your business online. How do you do that? Social effing media, bro. Social effing media. And here's what you wanna do. You wanna be sure you're on all the platforms, okay? All the platforms, and you got the same uniform picture going all the, all the platforms. And you wanna be sure that you're, you're in front of your truck and all the pictures, that it's your face and your business and your name all in front of that, okay? That's really, really, really important. Make it sure that the customer finds you easy, okay? Now, here's another thing that a lot of people don't do. I don't do this, but in the past I did this and it kinda worked for me, but out of 100 people that I'd send it, I'd probably get one person. So it is a tedious job, but it does work and people do do it till this day. Send a personal email to people in the past that you've done jobs for, just telling them thank you, hey, if you need something done in late September, uh, it's 20% off, 10% off, okay? You know, that, that really uh, helps out a lot. That helps out with, um, you know, building that relationship with that customer, but it is tough. It is gonna, I, I'm not gonna bullshit, I don't do it. I used to do it a long time ago, and it worked, but it was tedious work, and I found other things I can do, like post on Craigslist, it was much easier. But if you're looking for work, and you're begging for work, and you can't get it, this might be something you wanna do. You keep everybody's emails and send a bulk email. Okay, here's another thing, and this is big time for me. Build a relationship with potential or clients that you have now. How do you do that, how do you do that? Well, first you answer the damn phone. Second of all, when they give you a job, you go do it. You don't fuck around. You don't go do it two days later. You go do it when they tell you to do it. Like me, uh, a person, uh, um, a property management company will call me and say, Ricardo, there's a mattress back here. Okay, no problem. Get off the phone with them quick, boom, send them a bill. Why? Because I went and did it that day. 
quick as fuck. Today I have two property management companies. We got a total of five jobs on the schedule. Now, you might think, oh, five jobs, Ricardo's gonna make a lot of them. No, 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 I don't. So off the five jobs, this one, this one, and this one are all gonna be like $75 jobs. But the last two are gonna be 150, 150. These are two contract jobs that I already have that I'm gonna charge them regardless what the fuck it is. I'm gonna charge them 150, 150. So that's 300, 75, 75, 150, and another 25. So do your math, not bad, $525, or something like that. Okay, so a lot of people uh, tend to buy junk removal leads. Stop doing that, guys. I'm gonna tell you why. These junk removal uh, apps, these leads like Home Advisor and all that stuff, it's not made for junk removal. Let those have that to the construction guys, to the carpenter guys, the guys who are doing woodwork and the plumbers and the Guys, we need to stop using Home Advisor. We need to stop using Thumbtack. It is just not good for my business, so I do not use it. I recommend, why are you paying other people to do it? Well, you should pay somebody to fix your fucking website or you do it yourself. Spend a little time on yourself. Okay, so another thing, what to do when it's slow? Focus on your brand, man. Focus on your brand, who you are, what you are, what you do, how do you look like? Wear a hat with the logo on it, wear a t-shirt with the logo. Yeah, it costs money, but you know what? Don't fuck around, you've been making money. And like we said yesterday, don't be going buying that ring, that new truck and stuff like that. You know, this is what you should have been doing, spending that money on your business. That's what you should have been doing, spending your money on your business, okay? So another thing is, um, number nine is like sign up for paper calling marketing service. Don't do that. Don't do that when they tell you to do that. Don't do that, okay? And that's like pay per click. That's like Home Advisor and Tumtack. I never, never recommend doing that, okay? Here's another way to get business extend your business hours. Let people know you're open 24 hours, even though you're really not. But let people know you are, because you might get a phone call like at 5.05 and you really close at 5. Hell, I'll do a job at 5.05 if it's right down the street. I'll even do that. But don't forget to do that, okay, guys? So, what, again, what do you want to do? Okay. Here's what I used to do a lot, and it works. It fucking works, and I ain't gonna lie to you. Roger from McKinney did this about two months ago, and we got a job off of it really, really quick. So we went to go do an apartment complex, and every time we do apartment complexes, I find out where their, post their poster board is. You know, I find out where their poster board is, uh, which is like their, their, their board, you know, that little board, and I put my card up there. I put like two or three cards, and I swear to God, I always get a good return off of that. It's really, really weird but I always get a good return off of it. So, you know where the messages are, I put my, my card there and then I just leave, you know what I mean? But it works, for some reason it works. And I do this as an apartment complex, condos, and if you're not doing nothing, here's what you wanna do. Go to those apartments, walk around the apartment complex, look at it, and you're sitting at home doing something that you're not supposed to be doing anyway, you're not working on your website. Go out, put your card on one of these, you'll probably get a phone call off of it, I always do. Okay guys, so a lot of people also need to understand the importance of online reviews, okay? I personally, we have online reviews. Not all of them are great, but we have a lot of them, especially on Thumbtack, which we used to do way in the past a lot. Now, Vic, who's in charge of Thumbtack, we have over 900 and something reviews on Thumbtack. On, um, on Yelp, we have like 27 or something like that. Google online reviews, we have 30 something. So we have a lot, we've built that relationship. People look at our reviews and Ta-da. But you know where it's really important? Is those reviews I get online with my videos. And let's talk about that next. You're not doing anything, go do videos. Go do videos, put them on your YouTube channel, post them online, throw them on your website, grab that URL link, toss it in your website as an HTML, however you wanna do it, just toss it on your website. You know, and it could be an easy 30 second, 40 second video of you saying, hey, this is Ricardo, I'm here in Frisco, I'm re removing a refrigerator, we charge $45 uh, just to do this, uh, give us a call, 214-777-3095. Okay, so guys, uh, what to do when your business is slow? Here's another one for, post better uh, on Craigslist. Post more and post better on Craigslist, that's what I do. If it gets slow, I post on Craigslist. I get desperate, I'm like, Jesus, I only did two jobs today, let me go post on Craigslist, I'll do five, you know what I mean? So I'll post like nine times, I don't care what it costs, because I'm gonna tell you, $5 to do a $5,000 job, yeah, I'll do that all fucking day. Imagine what Thumbtack would charge you for a $5,000 job or home advisor, yeah. You know what I mean? So anyway guys, always, here's another thing, get new business cards, if you can afford them, get new business cards, change your image, be sure everything looks uniform, from your t-shirt, to your business cards, 
to your truck logo, to your YouTube channel, to your website, to your Google Plus page, all that stuff. Be sure it all looks the same, okay? And you know what? Here, here's something I do a lot. I do this every time I go to someone's house. Okay, yeah, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. I shake their hand. I try. I, by the way, how did you find us anyway? And they tell me. And usually, usually, 90% of the time, it's YouTube or my website. They go both together. So you see how important video is? You got to learn that shirt, guys. You know, you got to be sure it looks. Be sure that your website looks good across every device. Uh, here's a new thing that I just found out recently. I was reading Website Magazine, and it said that 60% of people are doing most of their online looking on their phone now. What? That's 10% more than people that are sitting at home on their PC. That means that people are looking on their phones all the time now. So be sure your website looks good on any kind of device you're doing. Okay, so last thing I wanna tell you, how to boost your business and how to get business really fast. Here's what I did. When I first started out, I'm not gonna bullshit you, I'm gonna tell you what I did. I got on Groupon, okay, and I said this, any job that's 150, I'll do it for 75. And I'm gonna tell you, it boosted my sales really quick, but it was a lot of effing work. So here's the way to do it. I'd go to someone's house and they would tell me they're gonna use Groupon, so I'd boot the price just a bit higher. So actually, the job that was 200, I wasn't gonna do it for, of course, I'm sorry, the job that was 150, I wasn't gonna do it for 75. I was gonna do it more for like 100. So I'd show up and I'd look and I said, oh, this is a $200 job. But if you lose your $75 discount, that's fine. I'll subtract 75 off the 200, but you just pay me the difference. You see what I mean? So it kind of worked like that. And it, and it worked pretty good because they were buying the coupon really, really cheap anyway. So it really didn't matter. Wait, I said that wrong. So if it was a $200 job, I, uh, they would use their coupon. You know, I'd say, okay, I can do it for 75. I can honestly do it for $100. And then they pay me $25 extra plus the $75 that I was getting from Groupon. But really, I wasn't making much off Groupon because they have that anyway. So those are three, those are a lot. I just gave you all about 15 things to do when it is slow and you're sitting at home not doing nothing. I always tell people, gosh, gosh, guys, work on your website, get your YouTube channel, going and get your social media going. I use WordPress to blog about everything that I'm doing on a daily basis. I, I blog, a blog, blog, I'm sorry, with a B, blog. I blog on WordPress, on Google Plus every day. Why? Why? Because those two sites are sending information across the internet and I'm hoping that one customer will find it one day. I've actually got customers on WordPress. I don't know how, don't ask me. I don't know how, but here's one for you. Before I go, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I go, I'm gonna tell you what I did uh, two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, I was at a house in Colleyville, Texas. I delivered a 12-yard dumpster and I dropped it off the property. I said, you know what? My business is slow in Frisco. I'm gonna fake a video really fast. So here's what I did. I grabbed this camera that I'm using right here, this one, and I did a video and I held the camera like this. Let me show you what I did. Okay, I got my other phone. And I held the camera and I said, hey, this is Ricardo up here in Frisco, Texas. I'm dropping off my 12 yard. I wasn't in Frisco, I was in Colleyville. Hey guys, I'm here in Frisco, Texas and I'm dropping off this 12 yard dumpster right behind me. Uh, it's $300. Uh, guys, you keep it three to seven days. Check us out online, junkguysdfw.com or give me a call, 214-777-3095. I'll see you later, guys. Household goods inside my dumpster. So, I did a little video and I posted it online. So how I did it is I did this and then from my phone it went directly to YouTube, okay? I did that two weeks ago. You're not gonna believe what happened. I got a phone call from a lady in Frisco Monday, this Monday, this past Monday. She wants a dumpster delivered tomorrow, which is uh, Friday, because today's Thursday, Thursday morning tomorrow, Friday. And I said, ma'am, by the way, how did you find me? She said, oh, I saw you dropping off a 12 yard dumpster in Frisco. What? I said, oh, really? He goes, yeah, he goes, you were holding the phone. You could tell you were holding the phone. And I said, really, ma'am, you found me on YouTube? She goes, no, I Googled you. She said she had Googled me and that video came up. She put this, and this is what she put. Frisco, 12 yard dumpster, drop off. Oh, no, delivery. She put Frisco 12 yard dumpster delivery. And guess what the title of my video was? Frisco 12 yard dumpster delivery. 
in Frisco, Texas. Isn't that crazy? So she found me that way and that video just happened to pop up because it matched the exact words she said. Shot in one in a million, but it worked. All right, guys, I gotta go. We have five jobs on the schedule. I'm gonna record only four of the jobs, okay? Um, the reason I'm not doing the fifth job is because Diego's gonna go do that by himself. It's just a small job, so I don't wanna go, and it's close by, it's right down the street here, down the street from our headquarters in Frisco. So I'm not gonna go do that job. We're only gonna knock out four. They're gonna be quick. Not a big day to make money, but I will make money. So I'm hoping to go over a little over $500 today. That's what we're shooting for, but guys, I just wanna tell y'all, keep on working hard. If you're thinking of starting a junk removal business or wanting to start a junk removal, don't hesitate. Find it in your heart to do it. Find that, let's do it, okay guys? Anyway, I will talk to y'all. Look, I just got a customer right now on the phone right now. Uh, hold on, let me show you how I handle this. Hello, how may I help you? Sectional. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm on my way right now, ma'am. I just uh, I'm just finishing up something and then I'm going over there right now, okay? Check or cash, ma'am. Thank, thank you, bye-bye. All right, I'm already running late to one of the jobs here. Oops. Anyway, guys, um, I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe over there to the that side, and then that side, check out my other videos. I will talk to y'all later. I hope this helped y'all out. Bye-bye, guys.